Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at watchOS 6.1 and the reason why is because, well, it is now finally available on the Series 1 and Series 2 watches. So I have my Apple Watch Series 2 right here. So let's go ahead and check out all the features that are available on the Series 2, as well as watchOS 6 changes. Now before we get started, I just want to say I would like to apologize for the lack of videos lately. I've been extremely busy, but I am going to try and get one video out per week. So be on the lookout for videos. Uh, most likely go live on Wednesdays at like 2 p.m. Central Time. So uh, I'm going to try to get one video out um, at least until the middle of December and then I'll have more time to get more videos out. But yeah, let's go ahead and start off the features. So I'm just going to go through all the watchOS 6 features and I'm going to let you know if they are here and if they're not here. Okay, so the first one here is we have several new applications. The first new application is a cycle tracking app. Now, you all know what that is. I'm definitely not going to be using this, but it is nice that we now have um, this on here for people that want to use it. So this application is now right here. And of course, you can also track all that information in the health app on your phone. Now the next thing is the noise application and guess what the noise is not on the series one only if you have a series four or above but the noise app allows you to view uh, real live sound levels so decibel levels in the environment that you're in like i said in real time and you can also uh, see if a sound is too loud it's going to let you know um, if it could damage your hearing. So it's a very nice feature. It's an application, but it also is a complication, but it's not available on the series two. Now voice memos is another application that's brand new and I don't see it anywhere on my series two. So I'm gonna say that it's not on here, but voice memos works the same way as it would on your iPhone or iPad or Mac. Um, but I do not believe it is available on the Series 2. It doesn't say that it's not available, but I do not see it, and I don't see it anywhere in my watch settings. So uh, let me know if that is actually available, not on the older Apple Watches. We now have a dedicated books app here on the Apple Watch, and it's solely for audiobooks. So you can now listen to your audiobooks. Of course, you gotta um, get them all on your phone first, and then you can listen to them, but you now have a dedicated uh, books app for your audiobook needs. Another dedicated app that we've been needing for a while now is a dedicated app store. So you now have an app store application on your Apple Watch, and this is gonna be uh, just for the Apple Watch application. So no longer do you need to go on your phone and download an application. You can download watch apps right here, and you can see Here's the uh, getting started and you can just scroll through. Now the one thing I have noticed as you can see is it's pretty slow. Now I'm not going to blame that on the application itself. I'm going to blame that on the series two, but it does load up eventually. And you can see we have all different applications, even paid applications. So you can still buy them um, right here. But if we just scroll down here, let's see. Okay, let's go to this East 9 run application. So it's just like the app store on your phone. You can go in, you can see the ratings, um, you can see screenshots of the app, how it looks, um, if it offers uh, other applications, the developer information and all that. So you can see everything. It actually works really nice here on the watch. It's nice to see this app store um, now available. Another thing is your activity trends. That was a new feature in iOS 13, but that's now um, available to be tracked here on the watch as well. There's also been some changes to the workout application. So there's new things like um, current elevation metrics, a stopwatch app, and different things like that. Now Siri has gotten some much needed improvements here on the watch as well. 
So Siri can now identify songs that are playing around you using Shazam. So that is pretty cool. You can also now have a web search here on the Apple Watch. So uh, used to, it would tell you to pull it up on your iPhone. So now you can see a few web results um, here on the Apple Watch. Now the watch faces, there are a ton of new watch faces, but unfortunately, the Series 2 and Series 1 only gets a few, and that is the Numerals watch face. So if we scroll over here to New, you have the Numerals Duo, which is the one that I'm rocking right now, and then you have the Numerals Mono. So each one of these can be customized and you can change the colors and the background. Uh, you can change the way the fonts actually look, which some of these are quite interesting. But this is what I've been rocking right now. Uh, you can see Storm Grey Numerals Duo. Uh, and I think it looks pretty nice, pretty sleek. Uh, really cool looking watch face. But again, that is the only one that you're going to get if you have a Series 2 or Series 1 watch. Finally, we have a dedicated calculator application. This should have been here day one of watchOS, but we now have a um, dedicated app. So that is awesome, and it even allows you to do tips. The podcast app is right here, and it now supports custom stations. If you're using maps or navigation on your watch, it will now include smart guidance as well as spoken navigation. The now playing application has been redesigned, as you can see, a brand new icon. And even when you are on your watch face, if something is playing up here at the top, uh, it has that new icon as well. But the now playing app, like I said, got a redesign. So a lot easier controls and it looks really good, as you can see. Your watch now has the ability to do automatic software updates, so that can be set up either in your settings on your Apple Watch or in the Apple Watch app on your iPhone. The Walkie Talkie app is now available on Series 2 and it has been redesigned. Your settings on your watch now has a lot more. So there are many more settings including accessibility, workout, and health settings. So just allowing you to do more on your watch instead of pulling out your phone, going to the watch app, and changing a setting for there. And that's pretty much it guys. Uh, not a ton of new things, but it is a nice amount of new things. Uh, I'm still loving my Series 2. It works great. I don't see myself getting uh, a new Series 5 or anything anytime soon. Um, definitely maybe a Series 6 because it'll probably be a pretty nice redesign but the series 2 still works great series 1 owners I'm sure yours still works great as well it's nice that Apple has decided to keep the support going uh, for a little while longer on these watches but anyways guys that's all I got for you today thanks for watching as always uh, no pun intended right there but uh, thanks for watching uh, be sure to leave a comment like the video subscribe to the channel we're making great progress and I thank you all for your support like I said as well, I'm going to try to get a weekly video out for you guys um, over the next month or so. But yeah, that's all I got for you today, like I said, and I will catch you all in the next video.